Aloha, sprinklerinos, OMFG. I can't believe we started with that. Hello, welcome, welcome. If you are new around here, my name is Louise Pentland. I make videos about motherhood and lifestyle, and this is not the video for you. <laughs> if you've just stumbled across this channel and you've clicked on this video, thank you, but I don't feel like this video is going to be the right video for you to watch as a first time viewer of this community, of this channel. So please go and head over to my channel and pick something that really tickles your pickle. We have lots of specific topic videos like plus size fashion uh, and day in the lives and specific things we're doing. This video is definitely aimed at my oldie but goldies. You know what it's like when you just wanna feel like, like you're having a chat with a best friend that's what this is. I've got so many bits and pieces that I didn't know where to say them. Do I write a bit of it in a caption? Do I put some of it on stories? Do I put a bit of it in a video and some of it here, some of it there? I just thought, no, I just need a big like and put it somewhere. This video is it. Like the olden days, I have made a whole lot of notes and I'm just going to go through them and share them with you and feel like I've had a good catch up, that I've got everything I wanted to say off my chest uh, and that we're all up to speed with everything. I know that some people prefer the more topic videos but some people really like just a chit chat and I would like to know in the comments, are you a specific topic kind of a person or do you just like to put me on in the background, let me amble on, have a waffle and you feel good for it? Let me know. So there's a lot of new stuff going on at the moment. First of all, April is like the month of birthdays in our house. Pearly has her birthday in January, and then it's Darcy's birthday, then Liam's birthday, then my birthday. I also have a few cousins in April who have their birthdays. It's also my lovely mum in heaven, her birthday in April. Uh, and it just seems to be a lot of April birthdays. Um, I've decided that I'm not sure if I'm gonna age this year. Decided to take that power back. <laughs> it does not belong to like, you know, time. It belongs to me. Uh, I should technically be turning 36 next month, um, but I've decided I'm gonna stay at 35 because it's been a pandemic and I don't feel like I've lived my best life this last year. So I'm sticking at 35. Uh, and if anyone asks you, it's, it's, it's 35. Okay, thanks, good. I'm glad we're all on board with that. Um, Talking of not living life to the best this year, I'm feeling pretty good. And that's really nice to say that, and that's a new thing to be able to say. Last year, as I'm sure you know, because you lived it with me uh, and you lived it too, was really just, <laughs> how best to describe 2020 other than <laughs> uh, that's how it was. And then the start of this year, was a bit ropey. I don't think I ever really went into it, but we all had COVID at the start of this year. Thankfully, touch wood, we're very grateful. Um, we're all okay. Um, but you know, that was a time to be had. Um, that was during January when I took my month off. So um, at least it didn't really affect anything online too much. Uh, not that that was a priority at the time, but you know, you gotta find the silver linings and things. Then February and March were just grey, weren't they? And now the world is opening up. I feel like I can feel myself coming back. Um, and the world feels like a better place. And on top of that, and this is new, the internet feels like a different place. It feels like a better place. I don't know, and I've been talking about this a lot with my friends lately, I don't know if it's because last year was such a tricky year online, and I'll talk more about that in a second, I'm gonna put my notes down because I'm powering through them. Last year was a really tricky time online because everybody, the world over, was feeling really tense, really worried, all those negative feelings. And that came out a lot on, in the comments section, uh, in the vibe, in the mood of the audience. And you might think, well, I wasn't horrible online. I believe you, I'm sure that like so many of you weren't, but there were, you know, the, 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 the most negative voices can sound loudest sometimes. And it was just not a very nice place to be sometimes. I felt very nervous about ever saying the wrong thing and upsetting or offending someone. You're never gonna please everyone, but I also never want to upset anyone. And that's really difficult. And as your audience gets bigger, obviously there's more people to please and more people to upset. Um, and if you do something one way someone doesn't like it and the other way someone else doesn't like it and in general terms people are kind of accepting of that and they're a bit like eh 
well wasn't wasn't how I like things done but sure no worries but last year because everyone is so like stressed out with everything else I felt like it all got channeled in to like people on their phones and it was just a bit vicious please let me know if you felt this as well as like a community member and I don't necessarily mean our community but just on the whole when I spoke to other content creators they said the same it was just like an undercurrent that I was very aware of and now that seems to have eased off and what I was saying earlier is I don't know if that has eased off or if it was a bit of a baptism of fire and I've come through the year and I'm just like hardened to it now and I'm like just coping with it a lot better I don't know but I'd be really interested to know if you felt that as well because you might be someone that just like me I just watch content and think that's nice and if I don't like it I think I just won't watch that again uh, but that's not the case for everybody obviously trolls and when you see the comment section sometimes you know what did you think I'd love to know because you guys always have like quite a good insight into this sort of thing I feel like m this audience my audience I always feel like my audience is the best everyone says that but we're just like biased mums with our little ducklings like you're the best you're the best um yeah you've usually got your like finger on the pulse excuse me I've got my notifications turned on loud I am very sorry about that the next new thing I am decluttering is this new news no <laughs> I have been trying to declutter for about a decade uh, and I have achieved the absolute opposite in fact I have got more things um, but what I mean by decluttering is not necessarily going around and being like there's too many photo frames on the windowsill I mean like going through those dusty bos bo boskers, boxes that have been in my attic or at the very back of my wardrobe for a really long time and actually thinking do I need all of this and I put on my Instagram stories was it on Louise Petland or Louise Petland home do you know I've got two Instagram accounts, I've got a home account, I think it was my main one, um, that decluttering for me is not just getting rid of a few bits to make more space, but it's so difficult because I have a really unhealthy relationship with material things. That is a Taurian trait, I'm a Taurus, but also I put so much into things in my mind so firstly if it's something that someone's given me I feel like a bit of their love is in it especially if it's come from a family especially especially if it's come from a family member that's passed away we have a few in our family that have and I feel like I can never get rid of this because I'm almost getting rid of them the person uh, or I'm rejecting their love in some way sorry if you can hear the music <laughs> downstairs Pearl has got hard knock life on. She's not on her own. <laughs> she's not just down there bopping away alone, but she's got her music on. I don't want to stop her enjoying it, but I can hear it. And I'm like, oh no, I hope that's not picking up. Um, she has played hard knock life because she can use the Alexa. I won't say it in case it sets yours off. And she just asks for the same song over and over again. So that's been playing now for about 20 minutes. Anyway, what was I saying? Clutter. Yes, I invest so much in it emotionally that I feel like I don't know let me let's just say this phone is like an ornament that my mum had I'm like no I can't throw this away because she loved it so I'll have to keep it if it's a gift that my mum ever gave me or gran or my friend or an aunt or or a viewer or anyone I'd be like no because they put so much meaning in this and if I throw it away I'm like throwing that back at them if the item is something of more value than like two pounds I'm like mm, but I paid for that so I don't want to throw money away um, if the item is something that I could one day use, even if I haven't used it for like a decade, I'll be like, oh, but I might want that slightly rusting Care Bears tin in 10 years time, so I'll keep it just in case. And the list goes on and I just find it so difficult. However, I feel so, um, like heavy with how much stuff there is in my house. I'm finding it getting to a point where when I'm out which is like a new thing we've been doing lately going out a bit more I feel like I have to come home and tidy up and it's really hard to tidy up our house because everywhere like all the drawers all the cupboards are full with all the clutter that I'm saving out of like emotional burden or thinking we might need it um etc etc so I'm working on that I've been watching a lot of videos I might link a couple below that really like spoke to me and I was like yes and really helped me get rid of some bits um, and I'm actually thinking and you might think this is really dramatic I'm actually thinking about seeking a little bit of counseling or therapy for it because it's not just things it's like the way I think about things I, 
I think that my mum dying when I was so young has really affected the way I'm holding on to things and it's not something I had really noticed until this last year when I actually had time to think about why I can't let go of things so um, I'll let you know how I got on with that but you know when people like they're like oh I'm a hoarder I, th I think that I am a bit of a hoarder and I don't say that lightly because I know that hoarding uh, is like a real thing and it's really serious to some people um, but yeah I think that like I, I want to address this so I'm letting you know what else is new well since you asked I've got a new website what do you know what's absolutely nuts for 10 years longer than that I've been doing this since 2009 so nearly 12 years oh my god that's so long I have not had a central place for all my stuff so first if you typed in louisepenton.com it would route you to here then last year or the I think it was last year the year before sort of time um, I did have a website but there were a few little things about it that weren't quite working that weren't quite like tickling my pickle um, so what we did in January February time is remove that one and start afresh sometimes you have to just do that and it was really hard because the one I had last year I know that so much effort had been poured into that um, and that it was beautiful to look at but there were a few things that weren't quite working the way that I really wanted them to and so I have a brand new website it's very swish like we've paid someone to do it properly or like an expert you know um, so I'm going to link that below for you and it's a central hub for absolutely everything so it will have links to all my videos but will also have information about the podcast mother's meeting which is coming back for series two too soon uh, so that's another new thing why am I doing this series two maybe <laughs> so that's another new thing um so the podcast books um I have book news too I feel like I'm just giving you too much blur, like brain dump on here but the book news is over on uh, the website and it is the title reveal of my new book and a bit of artwork for it so if you'd like to see that I'm going to leave a link below for you I have a newsletter which is all linked on the website if you would like to sign up to my free monthly newsletter you can it's going to be full of exclusives and um, there's going to be a giveaway every single month on there and behind the scenes bits and pieces I'm not going to spam you I'm just going to do it once a month but if you would like that that is there for you um, so yeah I'm really excited for all this new work stuff that is happening and picking up something's coming this summer um that I can't tell you about at the moment I know that's really annoying when people do that but it's often not I'm, I'm not like trying to be a dick about it it's just I'm under contract to not talk about it until it's like reveal time um but I'm bringing something out this summer that is not a book um it is a thing it's something you can buy and it's um uh, it's colourful I best stop but I think you're going to really like it you're going to really like them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. more clues more clues sorry Megan that's my manager don't shout at me okay what else do we have on our list so decluttering um, big summer work launch new website um, right family life lots of new things happening here Darcy and Pearl have started at a dance school it's not a full-time dance school like Darcy still goes to her actual school school she just goes to dance twice a week and Pearly goes once a week because she's only very little and so obviously there's only like a few things that she can do and they absolutely love it I thought it would be like just a normal club that they've done before Darcy's tried lots of clubs before um, but this one seems to have really stuck and she's really into it they're both really pumped I think it helps that there's two of them and they both get each other excited at home for going um, and it's really nice because I've met some of the mums and now I feel like I've got my little like dance mom friends although I was told that actually you don't want to call the other mums dance moms because of the TLC show and they're a bit like savage in there and it's like a negative thing so I was like oh my god I was so glad someone told me that because I was gonna be like hey dance moms um, and that's why I have no friends <laughs> that's what I was gonna do um, but we're really liking it and I've been sharing a bit of it on uh, Instagram because I'm just excited about it and I've had a few DMs of people asking me because it's ballet that Darcy does um, aren't I concerned about all the negative connotations with ballet and um, isn't it a bit irresponsible to be letting her do ballet when there's so much um, you know there's been so much stigma about weight I don't know if there still is or isn't I'm not really involved in the world of ballet really like just my children do it um, 
and I thought I should just address that because I would imagine as time goes on if I share more of their like ballet journeys uh, then I would probably get more comments I'm sorry it's still not turned it off uh, I would probably get more comments about it and the answer is no uh, I'm not concerned about it at all they go to a really lovely dance school with really lovely dance teachers um, I would be like flabbergasted if anyone there ever said anything about weight or body size it's all about like uplifting the children and then loving what they're doing and having a good time um and for us like darcy is 10 and pearl is three we're not looking to put her on stage at the moment to like do to like have this like huge ballet career like if she wants to do that definitely i'll support it but for right now my thinking at least is that this is a hobby that they enjoy to do uh, i think it's lovely for them to have something outside of school pearl doesn't actually go to school yet but when she does um that they do and they get to make friends outside of their like usual circle and they have a passion and an interest and also for darcy i quite like the idea that this is something that she can grow into like uh that will keep going for years hopefully because she's approaching her uh, teens at the moment but she's a preteen and I would like her to have a focus and like a positive thing to do in her life um, so that she's not basically like sat on screens all day or you know wandering around parks getting up to mischief or you know being a typical like Kevin teenager that's my plan anyway we'll come back to me in three years and I'll let you know if it's worked but that's my little plan there so no I'm really not worried about uh, their weight or the way they look or them being forced to lose weight or um, them hating their bodies or anything like that like we're really hot on it in this house I am someone who is all for like body acceptance and body neutrality um, so I'm always looking out for things like that as it is and it's not something I'm concerned about alrighty Whew, that was a heavy topic that's something that's been like weighing on my mind heavy and weighing on my mind as if I'm so punny I didn't even plan that but yes ha, so punny uh, glad to have got that off my chest in other family news new news oh it's all about new oh my god I'm on fire today um we have booked a holiday I know I don't know if this is a silly idea or a brilliant idea but back in January we booked to go to Disney World in October so I'm cautiously optimistic that it will be okay to go by then I'm hoping that we will both have had our vaccines like our full set of vaccines by then um, and I'm hoping that like restrictions are eased and that everything is settled down a bit if it's not we won't go obviously if we're not allowed we won't go but I'm hopeful and I'd be interested to know if any of you have booked holidays we've not got anything in for this summer um, it just seemed like I don't know I was like I don't know where I would want to go um, and also when I was looking at like Europe and stuff Europe looked a bit dicey although it's looking a bit better now but yeah holidays chat to me about it what do you think what's your vibe where are you going let me live through you the last thing that's new that I think will also be something that you can really relate to is I just have a new appreciation for life now that we can go out and like have a meal somewhere and meet up with friends and watch our children play again I just feel like there's been a few times where I felt like crying over such silly things, silly things. Uh, Liam and I went to our village pub um, and had a meal there and the sun was shining and there were people there and someone had brought their dog and I almost cried because I was like this is just so nice and before I would never have really appreciated it to that level I would have just been like this is nice but not like oh, this is nice um, and it's just so lovely I don't want to keep saying it's so nice but it really is so nice and every time I say it everybody else says it back They're like I know I can't believe it it's so lovely um there's the doorbell oh my god it's all go here today so yeah I wanted to know if you felt the same and what specific things are you really appreciating now that perhaps a couple of years ago you wouldn't really have thought twice about tell me in the comments I appreciate you very much I always do I hope that you like this video if you do give it a big thumbs up and please make sure you're subscribed 70% of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed to my channel and I would love it if you were if you were part of my little good egg community so do make sure you're subscribed and hit the little bell to make sure that you never miss another amazing wonderful video ever again um although my friend said I hit the bell and I didn't get a notification so I was like eh. 
Maybe that's what you want. <laughs> Maybe you don't want notifications, I don't know, but hit the bloody bell anyway, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, I'll stop waffling on. I've got through my list. I feel good. I feel like we've had a big hug like this. That's, that's not how I hug people, but that's not how I hug you when you're in the camera. Lots of love to you, and I will see you on Sunday for another YouTube video, or I'm over on Instagram every single day. All right, lots of love to you. Bye. P.S. How dirty is that mirror? I wiped it, but I've done it all smeary and it's bothered me the entire time I've filmed this video.